Today, we look at the craziest Uber passenger in existence. Now, on my time on YouTube, I've seen hundreds, if not thousands of encounters on the internet, but this one takes the cake. Imagine the biggest crybaby you can think of, give it an adult body, and we got this wonderful lady here. Subscribe right now or she sits on you. Are you Ben? Yes, I am. Can you uh, do me a favor? Can you move the seat? forward because it's it's hitting my knees at this yeah, point. Yeah. All right, five seconds in, she's already complained about something. No problem, hold on. It's very uncomfortable. Is that better? Sorry about that. There's no point in saying sorry. It was already, you know, was already pushing on my knees. All right, what? Okay, that literally makes no sense. So you had a problem for like two seconds. He immediately fixes it. And no thanks, no gratitude, just it already hit my knee. I've been in this situation before where you're in a taxi and the, the seat is too close. And I agree, it is annoying. But it's only annoying if it's there the entire ride, like an airplane ride, right? So the fact that he fixed it at the start of the ride is the best thing that could happen. I don't like, you're just in a bad mood, right? Come on. I'm not trying to come off rude, but- Really? That's you not trying? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you do a better job than a paid actor. Can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on, sir. Okay, I want one of you guys in the comment section to count exactly how many seconds it's been and how many times she's complained. This is number two, I'm, I'm guessing like 20 seconds. Also, you can put the seatbelt on while the car is moving. Are you the queen of England? Like, people just have to wait for you? You in a rush? Because if you're in a rush, I'm gonna panic. What? Dude, I love the stare down they're having, like, just laser eyeing each other. This feels like one more strike and you're getting out of my car. But actually, no, this guy's the chillest guy ever, as you'll see in the end of the video. This, this right here is loose. This, this almost poked me. Probably for my past clients. They were probably rough with the seatbelt. Yeah, well, you need to uh, fix that because that could have stabbed me. That could have stabbed me. Ah, uh, yes, the seatbelt could have stabbed me. The most deadly weapon of mankind. This is complaint number three. The car hasn't even started yet. Now you can drive. Now that the queen has settled in, you can drive. You have the correct address there? Yes. Are you familiar with this area, sir? Yes, I am. So how are you doing I've today, ma'am? I've been in several accidents. I, I, I wonder why. Constantly talking and berating your driver, I wonder why she's been in a lot of accidents. They really don't get paid enough to deal with these type of people. This Uber driver, I was in the car, and he was speeding on a turn, and he hit the side rail. And quite honestly, I... I'm scared getting in these vehicles, but unfortunately- Get a driving license! Actually, don't. I can't imagine you as a driver. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You like it really hot in here, man. It's like, I'm in a- Amazon. I love how this guy is just completely unbothered. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point she's just trying to provoke him, but sadly for her, her driver was like the chillest man in existence. Also, complaint number four. Do you have air conditioner? I prefer the air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold my on. My hair's gonna get ruined. Is that better? Uh, she she doesn't want to say yes like like all the neurons in her brain were like immediately go, gonna go say yes right but then her horrible personality kicked in and said no I, I can't I can't admit anything I have to make this guy believe that I'm having the worst time of my life you could please uh, point that a little the vents towards me because it's like facing the window that that direction I think it should be facing me don't you think? and why isn't it staying there yeah like that. what why did it flip up like that? I don't think there's been a moment of silence this entire video. Like, how do you go about your daily life like this? But I'm saying, I've been in this situation before, and I don't want to be in an accident. Yeah, I, I think we've all been in cars before. What kind of situation are you talking about? A car with a friendly driver? She would literally classify this as a natural disaster. Tell all her friends how this was like a 7.5 magnitude earthquake. Oh, uh, there's this Uber driver like, oh my god, I was feeling hot. He opened the windows, he, he turned on the AC for for me pointed in my direction just the horror you know your seatbelt is really tight around my neck it's, it, it really is tight has uh, anybody else complained about this no no, no. Man, no. <laughs> yes. well then take it off no i'm not going to take it off well i need this for my protection do you want to move to the left side Choke me out while I'm in the back seat here. Th how is that choking you? It's not even- It doesn't even reach your neck. The seatbelt is too tight. Okay, take it off. No, I don't want to die. Move to the other side of the car. No. <laughs> you see, then I'll have less things to complain about. By the way, props to the driver again for staying focused on the road. Heaven forbid this guy gets into an accident with this lady. She will sue him to all hell. This thing over here, the, the buckle is, is loose on the back here. This plastic poked me when I got in. You have the seat back hitting my knees, okay? And now, 
the vent stays up, which I'm not even getting air. It's like I'm not. I, really, I got it on full blast I'm here. I'm not happy with it's. It's literally vehicle. fifty. It's I'm fi sorry, I'm not it, knocking you. It's the, it's fifty three degrees outside, ma'am. You want to open up all the windows? I'm not trying. No, I told you I don't want my hair. I'm going to an important meeting right now. Like, I can't... Oh, have... yes. The most important meeting. I wonder who's waiting for this chick, honestly. It's probably Elon Musk or something. You, you wouldn't understand. I'm a very important woman, you see. My hair all You're having an important meeting at 7 p.m.? What is that your concern? Bruh, he caught her. How is it your concern, sir? I'm trying to explain to you. I don't get... I'm not getting any ventilation right mm -hmm. now. Okay? And I don't appreciate your smart remark about me having a meeting at seven o'clock, which I'm gonna be late because of you. You showed up late. Dude, I feel like this is a prank show. Like she's got an earpiece, all her friends are telling her what to say, but sadly it's an actual situation. Sorry about that, okay? I'm sorry. You men are all the same. Men? Okay, why did this turn to men? I would be so unsurprised if she was a feminist. Like, so unsurprised. Here's the left right here that you have to take to Union. I'm, I'm taking it. We're going West 22 Union and Hillside, ma'am. Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am. Oh, 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 heaven forbid the attitude. Dude, if the nicest guy in the entire world is giving you an attitude, imagine a regular person. Like if it was me, I would have kicked you out of the car seven times over by now. No, all I have to do is report you to Uber and so be it, you will be kicked off the of Oh, this, oh, this oh, is that, is, that right? the, is that the case? Unfortunately for you, this man was actually recording. It's so sad how these people actually have to record now just because of crazies like this. Just for their safety, you know? Let me tell you, I've gotten other people kicked off. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I can believe that. Do you know what the speed limit is here, sir? Yes, it's 45. So then why are you going 50? I'm going 45. You're going 49. 45. I'm just letting you know, I, I don't... I don't like that. I, I, I don't. I don't. You weren't even looking at what speed he was going. You chose a random number above 45. That this freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have to have consideration for passengers when they get in your car. Okay, the Hulk is coming out now. The few bolts keeping her brain together are starting to break. And you don't question them where they're going. I, I, I think the Uber driver... <laughs> <laughs> needs to know where you're going. In fact, he cannot do anything without no- <laughs> You're so dumb, it hurts. It actually physically hurts. I want another Uber driver! So all get you one. is running that lip of yours, and don't nobody want to hear what you gotta say. Do you want to drop off or you want to keep going to the destination? Drop me off at shop. I, I don't think oh. you could have met a more hospitable man. Good luck finding an Uber driver who'll deal with their BS, honestly. Over there in the parking spot, I'm not gonna get out in the middle here. All right. God. Can we all give this man a hearty applause? Absolute legend for staying so chill. As for the poor excuse for a woman, you, you need to learn how to live in human society. That's not how you treat people. Especially people are doing a favor for you, you know? Anyways, that's about it. Go watch more videos. Bye-bye.